In part 7, we're going to continue with the highest common factor. And we are going to find the highest common factor of three numbers. You will find this on page 11 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, first let's look at example 5. Find the highest common factor of 10, 20 and 60. So, the first step will be to do prime factorization. So, start with 10 and break it up into the product of prime factors. Do the same with 20 and do the same with 60. Now, the best will be to write down the one with the most factors. So, I will first write down 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Then, it's easier to just fill in the second one. And then do the last one so that you can see the column of twos and the column of fives. Because the highest common factor will be the column of two and the column of five. And I will multiply that and I will get an answer of 10. Therefore, the highest common factor of 10, 20 and 60 is 10. I want you to do try now five number C. Stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start with number C. Take your three numbers and break it up into prime factors. Let's start with the first one. It's not ending on an even number. So basically it's not divisible by 2, but it's divisible by 3. Because 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 1 is 15. And if that is divisible by 3, the whole number will be divisible by 3. And that will give me an answer of 65. Let's test again divisibility by 3. 6 plus 5 is 11. It's not divisible by 3, but it's ending on a 5, so it's divisible by 5. 13 is a prime number, so continue until you have 1. Do the same with 270. It's ending on 0, so it's divisible by 2. And if I divide, I'll get 135. Okay. It's ending on an odd number, so test for divisibility by 3. 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Divisible by 3, so the whole number will be divisible by 3. Again, 4 plus 5 is 9. It's divisible by 3, so the whole number will be divisible by 3. I think we have the same here. 5 plus 1 is 6. It's divisible by 3. And then... And then I'm going to do 3, 4, 5. Do the same. It's 5 plus 4 is 9. Plus 3 is 12. So it's divisible by 3. 5, 6, 7... It's not divisible by 3, but it's divisible by 5 because it's ending on a 5. And I will get 23, and then 23, and I will get 1. Now, write down your three numbers. 195, write down 60. Okay, let's just correct that one. Write down 270, and write down 345. Now, the best will be to write down the one with the most factors. That will be 270. So it's 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. Then I can fill in the rest. So there's a 3, so it will be 3 times 5 times 13. And I can fill in the last one. It's a 3 times 5 times 23. And if I look, if I mark the column, I have a column of 3s and I have a column of 5s. Therefore, the highest common factor will be 3 times 5 and that will give me an answer of 15. I can also do it with index notation. If I say 195, it will be 3 times 5 times 13. 
And if it's 270, it will be 2 times 3 to the power of 3 times 5. And then 3, 4, 5. It will be 3 times 5 times 23. Now, can you still remember? We only write down the basis that's in all three numbers. And if you look, you will see there's a 3, there's a 3, there's a 3. So it will be 3. And we take the smallest exponent. There's a 1, 1, 3. So the smallest will be 1. Look, there's a 5, 5, 5. So I take 5. And I take the smallest exponent is 1. And then 3 times 5 will be 15. Exactly the same as the top one.